very quiet young man. I wouldn't say withdrawn, but he was basically to himself. Didn't express himself a lot, not like he does now, not like he did in later years. You kind of knew, but you didn't want to want to deal with it. Prison is a struggle, basically. And the first part was a physical struggle. You know, but after a certain period of time, it ceases to be a physical struggle. Now it's a mental struggle, then it's an emotional struggle. Documentary, I should say, the Alto Experience documentary. Alto uh, Adjustment. The Alto Adjustment, excuse me, uh, documentary. Uh, it's, it's been selected to be screened at the 2013 Urban Media Makers uh, Film Festival this year. Uh, Alto, want to give us a little background info about yourself? Okay, um, I'm the founder of an organization titled From Nothing to Something Productions in which we um, basically create youth-oriented films or what have you. Um, what we do is we take individuals that's on the right track or the wrong track that has gotten back on the right track and kind of create stories around them and um, do interviews about them as well to basically introduce them to the youth. Um, native of Atlanta, Georgia, raised in a um, lower socioeconomic neighborhood titled Oakland City, which is where most of my passion comes from, actually helping you seeing so many of them go down the wrong direction. Okay, uh, how did you get started in filmmaking? Uh, um, I wanted to find, I wanted to come up with a way to actually reach the youth. So I was gonna write a book initially, and then I'm like, uh, most of the youth that I'm trying to reach, they don't read. So basically, um, I still taught myself how to um, make films. I went to different um, seminars, directing seminars, writing seminars. Um, basically, just wrote the program and went out to the passion to try to help the youth. That's where it all derived from. Okay. Now, is this your uh, first project, or have you dabbled with any other projects before, before this one? Oh, no, this is actually um, my first project. I've written some other things, but this is the first one I actually done myself. Okay, okay. So, describe the feeling to have your first project be selected for, uh, for a film festival like this. Oh, man, it's, a, it's an outstanding, great, great feeling. Um, it's a great feeling, but at the same time, you know, I always still continue to work because I feel like it's so much more that needs to be done, but I'm, I'm basically, um, I'm grateful for it, man. Okay, okay. So, why the uh, Alto Adjustment documentary? How did you get involved in that? How did you seek that, that story out? Initially, we was going to do another documentary. It was going to be called What's Real to try to basically um, define, you know, what real is to most people because most youth, um, they think that real is basically, you know, being fake. Right, right, right. <laughs> Just exactly. to put it out there, okay. you know, they can't differentiate reality because it's a thin line between reality and fabrication, as I always say. But um, I met Damon Butler, and then, you know, I was trying to um, put, put together the West Real documentary, and it just wasn't, it wasn't narrow enough. It was okay. too broad. So, I, I, you know, I reached out to Dane, and I said, how about um, doing a documentary about your story? Because basically, the interesting thing about his story is he served 10 years, and then he basically came back out and uh, turned everything around. So I, I thought that would be an interesting story and a helpful story to help not only you that are headed down that route, but at the same time to give people hope that's actually um, getting out of the system, let them know that they can turn things around. Okay. Alto Adjustment uh, was born. Okay. Now how, uh, now how receptive uh, was Damon when you, when you approached him about the project that you were, that you were doing? Well, Damon is, like, like myself, um, he's very passionate about helping youth, so he was all the way down with it. He was like, let's go. Okay. He didn't think it was going to turn out the way that it turned <laughs> out, but he was like, let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> I hear that. Um, now, I'm sure you had a uh, you casting, uh, a cast that helped you and everything like that with the put together the documentary. Now, tell the people how important it is to have the right uh, crew members 
in order to pull a production off of like this. Man, it is extremely important. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it without yourself. I had a very supportive team. Um, I had um, a guy named Jeff that actually was DP. You know, he was very um, meticulous about um, the work. And my editor, you know, he was very big on getting it done right. It's almost like I was trying to rush him because it, to me it took so long. But when, when he got finished, I understood why. Like, it was it's very important to have the proper crew. And I had other people around too, but those are like the main two people, you know, who kind of um, just got it there. And the people we interviewed as well, they, they were a big part of it too because um they gave good answers and they weren't scared to go into detail so it takes you can't do it by yourself it okay. takes a whole team of people to actually pull off um film period right okay okay um now are there any other uh, any other directors or, or producers or anything in either independent or uh big time hollywood studio producers or directors that you would like to work with or that influence your your work so far? Um, I mean not really. Not really, um I mean I can't really say really that influence my work because um I do it based off of my own passion just to help you. That's the only reason why I do it. You know, to help them. If they not feeling it, then I mean I gotta go back to the drawing board. It's more about them than them. Okay, okay. Uh you're also a writer. Uh -huh. Now, are there any other uh, genres that you that you love, that you write? I mean, I understand you, this is the documentary that you that you screen or whatnot. But are there any other like short films or anything that you dabble in or that you, that you thought about writing? Oh yeah, I have. Uh, have like thirty short films. situation is you can overcome the situation that's one of them and the other one is um learn from the messed up decisions he made it took 10 years away from his life learn from the messed up decisions he made and basically um stay away from making those same types of decisions man you don't have to sacrifice 10 years of your life for prison and basically say okay i want to do the right thing man. okay so what have you but that's the main two things i really want to take away from all right all right um, what's your ultimate goal in, in this industry? Um, man, to just leave a mark on um, films that are pretty much being created for you, man. Um, I want to be respected in that, you know, I want to be the go-to guy for for the youth market, mm -hmm. pretty much, when it comes to um, writing or speaking, because I speak to, you know, I just want to be respected by the youth and by the parents of youth. That's what my ultimate goal is. Okay. Uh, what think the state of the film industry is here in Georgia because now uh, people saying that Atlanta is the new Hollywood yeah you know so uh, what what are your feelings uh, about that <laughs> hey man I think I think it is I think it is I went to a meeting um last week that was hosted by a meetup group that I'm a part of called film Atlanta 
Um, if you're a filmmaker, you might definitely want to check them out on meetup.com. It's run by Cynthia Collins. But um, I think it, they, they were saying that um, Atlanta generated more film um, revenue than anyone last year, including Hollywood. So it's, it's wow. getting it's getting big, you know, it's getting big. And I feel like, um, you know, most of the filmmakers I meet and directors that I meet, I feel like they ready for it. Okay, okay. they ready for it. Uh, you're a director, you're a writer. Is that a dabble in it a little bit? Yeah, well, I produce my own production, you okay. know. Um, I wanted, I wanted full control of what I was doing, so that's why I kind of... So, how important is it to be like that triple threat in the industry, you know, you handle all three, you know, you just got stuff in one, in a box, one. how important is that? Hey man, if you want, if you want control, you know, if you, don't, if you want your creative control, then you definitely want to, I, I would say produce your own film because the person that has the money, they has the control. So if somebody else is giving you money, they can say, no, nah, take this out, um, leave that in, no, nah, don't, don't make it so graphic. They can kind of control what you do, but you got your own money. You got to give people what they want without any, you know, any sort, any, um, any control. Okay. Uh, tell me where you can find them, you know, uh, look at the trailer, how they can find them online and your social media sites. Okay, um, Facebook. Type in Al Twan Nelson, that's spelled A L T as in Tom, U A W N. Last name Nelson, N E L S O N. That's my personal Facebook page. I'm on Twitter, um, Al Twan One. Again, A L T U A W N, the number one. Um, as far as the Al to Adjustment, you can find us on Facebook at um, facebook.com slash Al to Adjustment. Um, on Twitter, we're the Al to Adjustment. I'm working on an Instagram page. I got to get around to it. <laughs> I don't take pictures <laughs> like that, so it'll be for a promotion. But more than likely, it'll probably be Al Torn Nelson or From Netflix to Something Productions. And our website is um, www.fn, the number two, um, sproductions.com. All right. So there you have it. Um, you need to come check out his project, the Alto. Adjustment. adjustment documentary at the 2013 Urban Media Makers Film Festival, hosted right here in North Cross, Georgia, October 10th through the 13th. All right, and please check him out online. This is a very up and coming filmmaker. Support him. This has been another MusicLightSocial.com interview. Oh, one thing to say: if you check check the film out and just you know let us know your honest opinion, especially you the parent, definitely let us know your honest opinion. That's how. Um, we, we're working on other projects and that's how we know what y'all want. You know, you can hit me on Facebook, you can hit me on Twitter, regardless of what the statements are, good or bad, I want to hear them all because that kind of let me know, you know, what I need to do to basically make the next production better. So, there you have it. You heard it from the man himself. Check it out. Come and support. Brother. All right.